Gaming G's back again with another five reasons why somebody sucks. And this time in the crosshair, it is Mark Goldbridge. I was away in Ember there, so that's why the videos took a bit of a pause, but we're back. And now we're going to bury Mark Goldbridge. To get out there, I actually enjoy watching Mark Goldbridge's videos. And he is funny, even if it is put on. That's not one of the reasons. But we've got five reasons. I could have done a lot more. Almost a bit of a worry for Mark Goldbridge. But without further ado, let's get stuck in to reason number one of five. Mark Goldbridge isn't even his real name. And I feel like when somebody has to use a fake name, it's pretty embarrassing. Like, it's not a movie. It's not like wrestling, like The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin. They're playing a character. At the end of the day, I mean, you could argue he's playing a character, right? But why does his real name really matter? In terms of he's just talking about football. Oh, Mark Brobridge. I believe his real name's like Brent De De Donato or something. That's a good name. I don't know why he couldn't use it. I think it's a bit embarrassing of a man having to use a fake name. Next up, at number two, we've got he joined TalkSport. TalkSport is full of rats. Simon Jordan. I mean, I know McCoy's is on it, and I like McCoy's, but, you know, <laughs> I don't like TalkSport, and I feel like anyone who joins TalkSport are kind of selling it. They, they're just, they're putrid, you know, they're connected with the Sun, the Sun newspaper. We know how bad they are. It's like, Goldbridge is the sort of guy who would bury these, like, newspapers, TalkSport, etc., for releasing these transfer news that are fake and all this stuff and being on board, like, su the Super League, but then proceeds to sell it for the money. You know, because that's essentially what TalkSport have offered him a shit ton of money to appear. Let's not make no mistake about it. I mean, this guy is reeking in so much money, man. He probably swims with it and what wipes his arse with fucking £100 notes. Is what it is. Coming in number three, clickbait videos. Now, I understand, in the world of football, when you're making transfers and shit, your team gets linked with people. But this guy... milks the fuck clean out of it. I mean, like, this is just an example here. All in on Kane. Mate, you're all in on green, and that is the Mueller. Because he will, any, I mean, the slightest of links, it's bullshit. And then, you, 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 I mean, the thumbnails, the titles will make it look like the Harry Kane is definitely joined United. Goldbridge gives his thought on Harry Kane, definitely joined United. Then we get into the video, and it's, oh, he's not actually joined, this is just fake news they put out. It, it's so, it, it's so cheap, it's so clickbaity. And you know, this is a guy who's got millions of subscribers, millions of followers, millions of fans, millions of money. I mean, if this is a small tra channel trying to do this, it's like, fair enough. But a guy that's already made it, and he's been doing it for years, all in on Kane, get in the bin, mate. I mean, just so many things. Like, Ronaldo could stub his toe, man. He'd make out that he fucking died or something, something like that. Reason number four for Mark Goldbridge, and I think this is probably one of the worst reasons. He used to be a Nottingham Forest fan. So... In my opinion, Mark Goldbridge is a great businessman. He saw opportunity here with uh, the United stand. He saw an opportunity here for fan content on YouTube to make money. Of course, going, you know, he's say going to the game, so we won't get that ahead of ourselves. Um, but he saw an opportunity here to interview people, get people on, talk about a club. And what other club to do it than Manchester United? And let's look at the time period he did it on. Now, I'll, be, I'll admit, back when Fergie was manager of United, it wasn't like YouTube was a massive thing. It was still around, obviously, in like the later years. But he obviously looked at them and went, fuck, I'm going to be able to leech money straight off these. Ones. And that's what he's did. He's, he's been a United fan because they're like the, the biggest club in the world, and he's did it. And the fact he used to be a Nottingham Forest fan, he turned his back for United for money, is not good. And that brings us to reason number five. He's never been to a Manchester United game, which I think... Is a fucking disgrace. And see before anyone like says anything about, you know, oh, he, he talks about the '99 team and you know the Busby Babes and the, the Munich Air disaster and all that. Anyone can look up history, study it, and sound knowledgeable on it. And for this guy to make his plan work, that he's this fucking diehard United fan, you know, and he's got this whole channel based on United, he'd have had to have done that, you know. And I think the guy, for as good as he is, he's a fraud. I enjoy his content, he entertains me, but it's almost like he's playing a character and that would almost be his, his defence mechanism. Later down the line of this, like, you know, if, if, if he got properly called out of it, he's playing a character. I don't think he's playing himself. I think the real Mark Goldbridge is a guy called Brent that lived in Nottingham and supported Nottingham Forest and was also a police officer. And on that note, peace.